Devri Hayamim Shani, 2 Chronicles 33. Manasseh was 12 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 50 and 5 years in Yerushalayim, but did that which was evil in the sight of Yahuwah, like unto the abominations of the heathen, whom Yahuwah had cast out before the children of Yashadael. For he built again at the high places which Yahiz ki Yahu, his father, had broken down, and he reared up altars for Baalim, and made Asherah poles, and worshipped all the host of heaven, and served them. Also he built altars in the house of Yahuwah, whereof Yahuwah had said, In Yerushalayim shall my name be for ever. And he built altars for all the host of heaven in the two courts of the house of Yahuwah. And he caused death his children to pass through the fire in the valley of the son of Hinnom. Also, he practiced sorcery and used enchantments and used witchcraft and dealt with a familiar spirit and with wizards. He wrought much evil in the sight of Yahuwah to provoke him to anger. And he set at a carved image the idol which he had made in the house of Elohim, of which Elohim had said to El David and to El Shalomah his son, In this house and in Yerushalayim, which I have chosen before all the tribes of Yashadael, will I put at my name for ever. Neither will I any more remove at the foot of Yashadael from out of the land which I have appointed for your fathers, so that they will take heed to do at all that I have commanded them according to the whole Torah and the statutes and the ordinances by the hand of Moshe. So Manasseh made Ath Yahuda and the inhabitants of Yerushalayim to err and to do worse than the heathen whom Yahuwah had destroyed before the children of Yashadael. And Yahuwah spoke to Manasseh and to his people, but they would not hearken. Wherefore Yahuwah brought upon them at the captains of the host of the king of Ashur, which took at Manasseh among the thorns and bound him with fetters, and carried him to Babel. And when he was in affliction, he besought Yahuwah Eloheyu, and humbled himself greatly before the Elohai of his fathers. And he prayed unto him, and he was entreated of him, and heard his supplication, and brought him again to Yerushalayim into his kingdom. Then Manasseh knew that Yahuwah he was Elohim. Now, after this he built a wall without the city of David on the west side of Gihon in the valley, even to the entering in at the fish gate and compassed about Ophel and raised it up a very great height and put captains of war in all the fenced cities of Yahuda, And he took away at the strange Elohai and at the idol out of the house of Yahuwah and all the altars that he had built in the mount of the house of Yahuwah and in Yerushalayim and cast them out of the city. And he repaired at the altar of Yahuwah and sacrificed, rather, and sacrificed thereon peace offerings and thank offerings 
and commanded Yahudah to serve at Yahuwah Elohai of Yasharael. Nevertheless, the people did sacrifice still in the high places, yet unto Yahuwah Elohim only. Now the rest of the acts of Manasseh and his prayer unto his Elohim, and the words of the seers that spoke to him in the name of Yahuwah Elohai of Yashar'el. Behold, they are written in the Sefer of the kings of Yashar'el. His prayer also, and how Elohim was entreated of him, and all his sin, and his transgression, and the places wherein he built high places, and set up Asherah poles and graven images before he was humbled. Behold, they are written among the sayings of the seers. So Manasseh slept with his fathers, and they buried him in his own house. And Amon his son reigned in his stead. Amon was two and twenty years old when he began to reign, and he reigned two years in Yerushalayim. But he did that which was evil in the sight of Yahuwah, as did Manasseh his father. For Amon sacrificed unto all the carved images which Manasseh his father had made, and served them and humbled not himself before Yahweh, as Manasseh his father had humbled himself. But Amon trespassed more and more, and his servants conspired against him and slew him in his own house. But the people of the land slew eth all them that had conspired against King Amon. And the people of the land made Eth Yoshiyahu, his son, king, in his stead. <laughs>